Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of aptitude, which can be asked for the VIT Triple E exam. So let's look at our questions in detail and look at how to solve them. Here comes our first question. This is based on the number series. Choose the correct alternatives from the given ones that will complete the series. 22, 26, 53, 69, 194, and blank. So, is it 230, 260, 250, or 245 that will fill the blank? Which of these is the correct option? <clears throat> now, for that, we need to understand the series here. If you look at the series, you have 22, 26, 53, 69, and 194. So the difference between 22 and 26 is easy. It's a difference of 4. If you look at the difference between 53 and 26, 13 minus 6 gives you 7, and 4 minus 2 gives you 2. So it's a difference of 27. If you look at the difference between 69 and 53, it's a difference of 16. And if you look at the difference between 194 and 69, 14 minus 9 gives you 5. Um, 8 minus 6 gives you 2, and then there's a 1. So it's a difference of 125. So what's in common among all these numbers? If you look at the differences, the first difference, 4, is 2 squared. 27 happens to be 3 cubed. 16 happens to be 2 raised to 4, but it's also 4 raised to 2. 125 also happens to be 5 cubed. So therefore, we see an increasing progression of uh, numbers, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and an alternate squares and roots. So therefore, odd numbers are cubed, and even numbers are squared among whole numbers. So what will be the next number? The next number is 194 plus the square of 6. So there'll be a difference of 6 squared between 194 and the next number. So we just add 6 squared to 194 in order to get our answer. 6 squared is 36. And when you add that, four, purple 6 gives you 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. And 1 plus 1 gives you 2. So therefore, the right answer for the correct alternative happens to be option A, 230. And we did that by finding out the relation between the series, which is basically the differences are whole numbers, which are squared or cubed, depending on whether they're even or odd. So therefore, options B, C, and D are incorrect, because if you put them in, you will not get um, the exact series that, that had been followed until 194. Next question. Look at this series. J14, L16, blank, P20, R22, and so on. What number and letter combination should fill the blank in between? Is it S24, N18, M18, or T24? So, how do we solve this question? Well, let's write the letters and the numbers differently. So, you have J, L, blank, P, and R. You have 14, 16, blank, 20, and 22. So straight away you can see that between the numbers there's a difference of 2. So there's a difference of 2 between 22 and 20 and 16 and 14. So therefore the number here has to be 18 in order to in order to make the numbers in series. So 16 plus 2 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20. So options A and D are incorrect because they show 24 as the number, whereas in fact it has to be 18. Now let's move on to the letters. Is it N or M? If you look at the difference between J and L, L happens to be the second letter after J. R happens to be the second letter after P. So therefore the, the, the letters between the letter between L and P has to be offset between the two letters by the number two. So the next letter has to be two letters above L, so that'll be N instead of M. And if you take the next two letters, the second letter from N happens to be P. So therefore, N, ha N is considered as the right answer because it 
fills up the series nicely. So the letters are the letter, the consequent letter is the second letter from the letter before, and the numbers are added up by two. So that's what, how this series functions. So therefore, option B is the right option. Now let's look at this question. This one is referring to directions. If A cross multiplied by B means A is to the south of B, to south of. A plus B means A is to the north of B, to north of. A percentage B means A is to the east of B, to east of. A minus B means A is to the west of B. Then we have this particular series here con con consisting of P, Q, R, and S, and we need to find out the direction of S with respect to Q. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we'll break it down into three parts. P divided by Q, Q plus R, and R minus S. Now in P divided by Q, you you can see that the symbol divided by stands for to east of. So P divided by Q means P is to the east of Q. So when we draw the cardinal directions, north, east, west, south, then you see that when you have Q, P happens to be on its east side. Now we have Q plus R, which says Q is to the north of R. Now that means R comes to the south of Q. Next we have R minus S, which means R is to the west of S. So S lies here. So this is how the layout of the four letters looks like. Now we need to find out the direction of S with respect to Q. So when we draw a line from Q to S, you see that it follows a direction between south and east, so therefore S is to the southeast of Q. So therefore option B is the right answer. Options A and C are incorrect because uh, southwest means here and northeast means there. Option D, northwest, could have been correct if they asked the direction of Q with respect to S. But however, it's the other way around here, so therefore northwest is also incorrect. The right answer is option B, S is to the southeast of Q. Next question, this has to do with blood relations. When Rahul was born, his father was 32 years older than his brother, and his mother was 25 years older than his sister. If Rahul's brother was, is 6 years older than him, and his mother is 3 years younger than his father, how old was Rahul's sister when he was born? Is it 7, 10, 14, or 19? Now, let's look at each clue. Father is 32 years older than brother. Mother is 25 years older than sister. Mother, 3 years younger than father. These are, you know, general relations. However, if you look at this clue, Rahul's brother is 6 years older than him. And if you look at the first two clues, you see that they were clues when Rahul was born. So therefore, we can use this clue, brother being six years older than him, in order to solve the rest of the puzzle. So how is that? Let's consider Rahul when he was born. At that time, he would be zero years old. He was just born then. That means his brother, who is technically six years older than him, would be at the age of six. Now we know that his father was 20, 32 years older than his brother, at that time. So we can find out the age of the father by adding 6 to 32. So 32 plus 6 gives you 38. Now what about his mother? His mother was 3 years younger than his father and still is 3 years younger than his father. So therefore from the age that Rahul's father was then we can estimate his mother's age as well which is 35. Now we know that when Dahul was born, his mother was 25 years older than his sister. So what does that mean? It means we can calculate the sister's age by subtracting 25 from 35. 35 minus 25 gives you 10. 
So Rahul's sister was 10 years old when he was born. So therefore option B 10 is the right option. So again this isn't technically a question on the relation itself but but it uses blood relation in order to calculate ages. Now let's look at another question. This one's particularly using blood relations. Deepak said to Nitin, that boy playing with the football, this is a person, is the younger of the two brothers of the daughter of my father's wife. How is the boy playing football related to Deepak? Is it son, brother, cousin, brother-in-law? So, how do we solve this question? Now, my father's wife would mean my mother. So, let's consider Deepak here has a dad who is married to his mom. And the mom also has a daughter. Now, this daughter has brothers. One of them is the boy who's younger and the other is Deep Deepak who is elder. Now how do we know that there are two brothers? Well it's mentioned in the question there are two brothers and since Deepak is talking about his father's wife he has to be one of the brothers pres present. So therefore Deepak's sister who's his Do who's his mom's daughter would have two brothers one of them would be that boy playing with the ball and the other would be Deepak himself so it turns out Deepak is related to the boy because both of them are brothers so option B brother is the right answer cousin in order to have cousin and brother-in-law you need to skip generations and you know go to uh, marital relations however and when it comes to cousin it has to be the dad's brother or sister or mom's brother or sister in order to become cousin. However, that does not occur here. We're still in the same nuclear family. So therefore, option B, brother, is the right option. Now that concludes this episode of Viti Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates, then please don't forget to hit the notifications icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.